Hello, uh, this is Howie again with Cedar Creek Homestead and hope you're having a wonderful day. I was going to show you just a little bit how we plant uh, our green beans. But I love home canned green beans. Uh, to me that is some, one of the best canned things. I mean I love a lot of stuff. Homemade pickles, tomatoes, you name it. But I really like green beans and especially in the winter time to open up a jar and uh, eat them like at Thanksgiving, Christmas, and any time really. I could have them every day. I just love home canned green beans. And they're so much better now, I've had people say they can't tell any difference in a store-bought one in a metal can and that that you can of your own in a quart jar. But uh, I can, and I love that. It also makes me feel good to know I've grown something in my own garden with my own two hands and see how the Lord can bless you uh, with the works of your hands, uh, can bless the work of your hands and the labor that you put out. So, anyway... I like to grow the pole type beans. Uh, these old cattle panels I have here, I put up through here. I usually move them every year to a different location. And uh, I love the pole beans because they grow up here tall to the top of this thing and they'll usually start drooping over the other side. But one thing I like about them is that they are um, easier to pick because they'll usually start making about halfway up producing beans all the way on up here. There'll be some down low, but they're easier on my back. Now I will grow some that's the bush type out and I've done that many a time, they do good. Uh, it's just harder on my back. I do have me a little four wheel deal that I bought that's a little seed on four wheels. It's John Deere color. You can get them different colors, but uh, I have it sitting over there where the tomatoes are. And uh, sometimes I'll use that to put bush type crops, but these here are so much easier on my back. Got this type of hoe, and if you know what they call this type of a hoe with that sharp uh, um, point on it, uh, comment down there and let me know. I've been just wondering what that, what you call one of these type of hoes. This one's getting very old. The handle's uh, um, getting pretty bad, but I treat it with that linseed oil is why it's so dark and it's kind of preserved it but I need to do it again this year it looks like it's getting kind of dry but uh, anyway I take that and make a little furrow down through here for my beans to go into and uh, I'm planting the blue lake I've always planted them sometimes I'll plant contender but usually it's been blue lake I don't know if it makes a whole lot of difference. I hear some say like, they like one. After I plant something, it works good. I'm like, why change? And uh, so these will grow. My wife will can quite a few. You can pick these and then they'll make again. And sometimes you might get three pickings out of them. Usually for sure we get two good pickings of beans out of the Blue Lake uh, variety and the contender as well. But uh, I don't know if these are heirloom uh, variety the blue lake and I plant mine kind of thick when I was a kid one time my, my grandpa had griped to my dad at how thick I had planted the pinto beans and he said you won't ever come up they'll be way too thick well they did very well so all of my life I've been known for planting them just a little thicker than what you need. I don't want to waste the beans, but you know, uh, it, these aren't all that expensive. Uh, this little bag right here was a dollar fifty of the Blue Lake pole beans. And I buy these at our local co-op store. And uh, I, I like eating green beans as I've already told you. And these are easy to plant, easy to grow. I leave these vines on here. This is from last year. And I know some say you shouldn't do that because of diseases and things. I've never had any disease problems, anything. Of course, this might be the year for it to happen. But I leave them and it seemed like it doesn't hurt anything. And it also, the when the little greens start coming up, it seems like they will catch a hold there. I'm sorry if I'm sniffing a little bit. My uh, The wind's really blowing today and my nose is running just a little bit. But uh, maybe I'll catch it here in a little while. But anyway, getting these beans planted down through here. 
and I plant these probably uh, two inches deep uh, down. Now they say uh, that you should plant them the depth of the bean as what I have been told before but I go a couple inches down. I like for my roots to get down in there good and I've never had any trouble getting them to grow so if I had a problem getting them to come up I might would plant them more shallow than I do but I'd rather get them down in there because when it gets hot here in Oklahoma uh, after about June it really gets hot and dry and uh, got another car coming here I hope they find what they're looking for um, here in a little bit but <laughs> oh well that's part of show business folks you never know what you're gonna run into